In this video, we are going to do a color investigation inspired by Dee Dee Willingham's Year of Color. And so I'm just flipping through my journal to the next blank page and I'm going to begin. I'm just gonna use one page here in my journal for my class. And the idea is that you're going to investigate and find some color from magazines and scraps of paper and anything you have and you're going to glue it down with some negative space. So you're going to pick a color and you can either pick a color like red or orange or yellow or green or blue or purple or you can pick like brick red or navy blue and you can get kind of deeper and deeper into a specific color. So I'm going to pick orange. You can pick whatever color you want and a great place to start looking for it color is in magazines and I just like to flip through so I don't get bogged down by reading everything. I just kind of look through and see if I can find orange and then when I find something um, or I, you know, I can look up and open it up a little bit quickly, but you want to go quickly through the magazines. Um, if you have any paint chips, like you went to the paint store, those work really well. If you have any um, painted paper, um, if you have any scrapbook paper, if you have any product packaging, um, that works. Here, here's a great one. So um, I'm going to use this as some orange. I kind of like this brown burnt orange sienna type color. I also have a bins in my classroom of just scrap papers. So you'll see just tons and tons of, actually this is fabric too. So if you had ribbon or fabric, you could use that. So just tons of scraps and you can dig through to find the color that you're looking for. So I'll just dig through and see what I can find. I know there's some bingo cards in here. Let me look for some, maybe there's some orange in here. There's some bingo. Nope, they're not orange. So um, I'm going to put some more colorful pieces of paper in these bins for you guys. There's some orange. But any color that is related to your color, right, um, that you pick is great. All right, I think I got what I needed. Um, I also have like leftover scraps from another art project that I can use. Um, I have some what else do I have? Things from magazines, washi tape, um, and we're going to use a glue stick. So you can kind of see my glue stick there. There's my chocolate bar um, product packaging I might use. Oh, this is an orange map I found I really liked. This I found in a National Geographic, like somebody had checked out the book or something or the magazine. Um, here's some scrapbook paper. So I'm just kind of getting all my orange things together. And then I can start making my collage. So collect a few of your scraps and get a little bit organized and you're gonna need a glue stick. There's my bingo card. Oh, and washi. Uh, washi tape's great to use for this because usually it's like one color. So can't wait to use this washi. That'll be great. And I'm gonna put my stuff to the side. And what you wanna do is um, when you're gluing, make sure you put a nice even coat of glue on your um, pieces of paper. But first I'm gonna start without glue. I'm gonna do what I call dry collage and my goal here is to layer and put things behind each other and also I want to think about leaving a significant amount of white space or empty space that I can put words in because I'm going to put some facts. You're going to all put five or more facts um, about the color and these could be facts about um, the pigment and how they make the pigment. They could be facts about um, what the color, what emotions the color has, um, or people use the color for, what artists use the color. Here I'm counting. You want at least 10 pieces of paper um, and all layered and really layered and um, the washi tape will count as one as well. So I think I have nine plus the washi. And um, then you want to take a picture of it. So I'm going to use my cell phone and I'm just going to take a quick picture and have that there so I can move everything and glue it. That's a really great thing and I'm, I'm making sure I have enough room for my five facts and your negative space could be on the bottom or the top or the side or in the middle, it doesn't matter. Um, just as long as you have some negative space to write five facts. This is an investigation 
um, of color. And so um, you see here, I am when I'm gluing things down, I'm going over around the outside edge twice. Um, I don't want to just do a little bit of glue. I want to get all the edges nice and glued down. So going around twice and then kind of going in the middle. I think I did three times there. And I'm using my picture as my guide. And if things go off the page, that's fine. You can cut those later. So I, I'm cool with that. Um, and if it doesn't match exactly the photograph that you took, that's fine too. You're just really looking for that negative space to be um, set aside for your writing. Here I made a little mistake or I wanted to change my idea, so I just peeled up the collage while it was still wet. That's a great thing about glue stick too. And anytime I use washi, I always put tape on the back. So even though I am gluing or using washi and it's tape, washi is not very sticky. So I make sure that I put glue stick on the back. And I did find these words in orange, which I really liked. Um, so yeah, you can also cut out letters from a magazine that are in that color. And then you can kind of um, do like one of those ransom note and you could write the word orange. Um, you can also uh, just write the word orange with an orange pen, or you could um, stamp it. I have some stamps if you have, um, I have some different colors of stamp pads, um, but you're gonna put the word orange somewhere, or your word, okay? So if you're doing blue, you would put blue. Um, and, and I'm just gonna go in here and make sure that, um, I cut off the little edge that's at the bottom there. And then I'm going to use my stamps. Um, I think I found an orange stamp pad, so I'm going to use some letter stamps and type the word orange. And the word does not have to be straight. You know, it can be, it's my word here is off to the side or dot, uh, vertical, um, but you can write in any direction that you want. It doesn't have to be, um, it's not a paragraph, okay, but you're going to put some facts. You need five facts. So what is the meaning of the word um, or the color? What emotions do people associate with the color? Um, what is the color used for around the world in different cultures? Um, how do they make the color? Like what makes up the pigment of the color? I think that's a really interesting one. So for me, orange um, is the color of, I looked it up, I just Googled it. Orange is the color of joy and creativity. And it also comes from the carotene, like beta carotene um, in a plant which is really interesting. Um, it's a type of photosynthesistic plant, right? Like think uh, carrots, right? <laughs> and the pigment comes from light that the plant turns into energy. That's pretty cool. I didn't know that before I did this little um, investigation here. Um, orange also is um, a noble color from um, Elizabethan times and only the nobility wore it in Elizabethan times. Um, and let's see, what else did I put down here? Orange is a the royal Dutch color nowadays and um, it also in feng shui it represents fire so those are my five facts and so in the end you should have your facts in your negative space and your collage of at least 10 um, different pieces of paper with your color and the word okay and that's the project and i hope you enjoy it and i will see you in the next video guys Bye-bye.